Hello, Internet friends. It's day number five of our series, 20 Days of Chief Architect X15. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, and today's feature is another great one, Railing Controls. Let's get started with our favorite software. Yes, railing controls for railings and stairs are finally here. No more, not, well, we can get rid of several of the workarounds that we've had to do before, like this railing right here. You can see how I've got the balusters going down below the deck and out beside the deck. We have horizontal and vertical control now. Let me show you how we do that. Okay, I just reverted back to the standard kind of out-of-the-box railing that we are all very used to by now. And you can see this is just a, um, you know, a, a railing and newels and balusters, probably two-inch railing, two-inch newels. We've got, we've got the um, ballast, you know, newel at the corner, etc. So, Let's go into, I'm going to select, I'm going to select like this railing uh, wall out here. And if you go into our rail style, I want to, you can do a horizontal offset now. Uh, let's go say uh, 3.5 inches and that goes inside. You can see the um, example here in the model of the window pane, three positive 3.5 inches went inside the, um, to the inside of the rail. Let's do a shift F6 and you can see, how we now have that gap to where it works for our, um, uh, columns and balusters. Let's say, for instance, in this case, we had a roof over this and we wanted to do a roof over the deck and let's do this roof. And we wanted to put some columns there, right? So our newels and balusters, we'd pick So now those columns, with that offset ability, now those columns can sit to where the base is at the edge of the deck. We don't have to do that workaround. My workaround is creating a very thin, invisible wall and um, making this railing actually be a no wall definition, no, no room definition. Now we can do that horizontal offset. I'm gonna spin this around and you'll see I've got the horizontal offset on this long side, but not on the short sides. And so that's how the, that's how Chief would have typically done it up till now, to where that um, column is hanging over the deck rim. And because this offset, this long rail is offset, it's no longer hanging over the edge of the deck. Um, let's go back. There we go. And I'm going to do a negative horizontal offset. That's going to put it, the, put the balusters and newels outside the, um, deck rim. And in that case, that's the first example I showed you, uh, to start the video where the balusters maybe are attached to the outside of the um, out, outside of the deck rim. And maybe in this case, we don't really want to do a full three and a half. Let's, let's take a look at this. And so three and a half goes from the deck rim. That's two and three quarters actually. Let's go back 
I'm going to show you what the three and a half does. Railing, make that zero. And you'll notice, okay, here's four and a half. Hmm. That jumped a full four and a half inches. I'm gonna have to figure out what exactly there. Uh, there's three and a half. Okay. Yeah. So it it's um. Go back to zero. And this that frame that. Yeah, that, uh, let's do this. Let's see what, let's put a measurement on this here. Let's put a dimension on this. So when you're measuring nine feet on plan view, that nine feet goes to the edge of the rim and Uh, eight, ten and a quarters to the center of the wall. So that is measuring to the edge of the rim. And that's because this wall width is four and a half inches. So let's make the wall width the same width as the um, widest rail, which is two inches. Now that's putting that out at the uh, edge, the railing out at the edge of the uh, decking, not the railing, not the not the rim. So half an inch. Let's make it three inches so that it's there's the wall. This is the railing. This is the edge of the um, deck framing, and this is the edge of the decking. Now, when I do my, let's do a two inch, minus two inch. That's going to put my newel post right out at the edge of the, um, at the edge of the framing, but I actually want the baluster at the edge of the framing and the balusters are balusters are inch and a half. So let's do minus 1.5. It's actually probably 1.25, isn't it? Yeah. one and a quarter. No, one and three quarters. Uh, it's the other direction. Now my, my newels will go right to the edge of the rim board. Okay. Um, now let's control the railing i'm going to turn off the bottom rail and i'm going to lower notice we now can put in a negative number not just raise the bottom rail we can lower the bottom rail and i'm going to say minus six inches 
let's look at the elevation. And there you see that the balusters are right up against the uh, deck rim and we can uh, screw or nail them into the deck rim there. Now, what's not quite accurate yet is the um, newel post. That newel post, we're probably gonna make a four by four, right? So let's go to newels and make uh, three and a half inches square. And we're gonna offset the newel posts. Now remember, negative goes outside, positive goes inside. So let's move that over. Um, well, first let's make it let's make it the real three and a half. Uh, newel posts three and a half. Let's take our elevation here, and I've got to make the end ones three and a half as well. Okay, so that needs to be moved over inside the um, inside the the deck rim, and so that's going to be four inches. I want to move those four inches over. So let's select all of these, and the Newell's balusters. We're going to do that four inches offset, and you'll notice. They just moved inside, okay? And those can also do a vertical offset. Let's do those at minus six. So they can go, let's go minus eight or even uh, 10. So those can now lock into, uh, that wasn't quite enough, was it? So we need to go inch and a half, and that's probably what, an eighth of an inch there? Three sixteenths of an inch. So let's uh, make that, well, let's, let's do this and just make this the same wall type and see what that does. There we go. I, with all the offsets, Chief wasn't, I was correct the first time with the four inches, okay? <clears throat> now, Let's take a different elevation. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to take a back clipped cross section. So I don't see that railing beyond and I want to see the railing. So this is locked in here inside and outside. Uh, maybe I need, you know, a. What do we need here? I need a two by eight railing on top. Let's select all three. Um, I need to be in cutting mode. All three railings. Let's make our rail style, our rails um, seven and a quarter. And notice I need to move it over. I can do this horizontal offset here. Let's say uh, three inches. Say two and a half. back to my section. There we go. Let's do this. I'm going to do shift F6 so I can see all three views here. We're getting there. Now the one thing that with this model that isn't quite working is since we're offsetting rails, newels and balusters, we'd go ahead and throw an extra baluster in there. So great, but not quite accurate. Anyway, uh, we're getting there. Let's um, let's make that rail, top rail, a uh, two by ten. And we're gonna go one and a half offset because I want I want it to be justified outside so that I can put another rail right here, right? Okay, um, so that looks good so far. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that bottom rail in here. And I'm going to go into my rails and make that bottom rail one and a half wide. I'm gonna make it 
uh, five and a half tall. I'm going to give it a horizontal offset to the outside, so minus one and a half. And uh, let's go uh, 34.5 up. Almost. It's going to be 30, 35. 35 inches, which would make sense because I dropped the lower rail by minus six and I only have a five and a half. I went 30, you know, anyway. Uh, rails 35. There's our section. Whoops. What happened with that? Um, So my balusters no longer go down below. Let's go to rail style, let's say minus 12. And rails 41, there we go. There we go. My section looks right. My rendering looks right, excepting for that one minor thing. One thing of the, uh, we would not really have the gaps of the uh, balusters, <clears throat> like so. But saves us a lot more time. We have the same controls in the stairs, too. I won't go into all that. We just went into a lot with the, um, with the outside railing, but you can now, your railings can do a horizontal offset. Positive goes inside. Negative goes outside. Oops. <clears throat> um, and we can do, I'm going to release another video. Remember that stair challenge I did a little while back? You can do a panel and go underneath the um, nosings, right? So let's do our rails. Um, our newels can definitely go minus six, you know, so that those are connecting onto the side. And in the railing, you can do a horizontal offset, say, say, uh, zero here, but the newels want to do a horizontal offset of minus two. And maybe you need to do the railing. So interesting, if, if you have a minus six, the newels don't pass over the rails automatically yet. So that might be a little thing we'd want to ask them to fix. Um, but. Uh, so the rails have the balusters have to go with the railing. The rails can do a let's do um, six, and that can do a offset as well. The railing can. Handrail option. No, that's the. Oh, we, there we go. Raise lower bottom. We're going to include the hand. Yes. So minus six. So that could go down. Uh, below the tread as well if you're outside the stringer. All right. I know this was kind of a long one, a long video today, but I am so excited about these options of the railings, uh, horizontal and vertical offsets. 
I wanted to go into some detail with that. Thanks so much for watching. Are you liking this series on Chief Architect X15? I know I'm enjoying uh, getting into it and sharing the, the new tips and tricks with you. Uh, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and you'll keep uh, getting notified when I drop these videos. Thanks so much. Take care. See you next time.